Yo, everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula, home of the Husky community. Your number one stop on YouTube for everything you need to know about raising, training, and living with a Siberian Husky. Yo, I was chilling with both of my Huskaroni pizzas the other day, and I was like, you know what rhymes with Husky? Literally nothing. I was thinking like musky or like shusky, tusky, flusky, crusky, zusky. There's like nothing. No, no word rhymes with husky. I'm pretty sure the word husky is like orange. There's just like nothing that rhymes with it, bro. What do you think about that? I would be mad too. Stay. Good girl, stay. Good girl. That was so good, dude. The concentration was on key. All right, your turn. Ready? <laughs> He's like, oh, dude, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm ready for this. You gotta stay. You, you gotta stay. What about nose? He's like, my nose. <laughs> He's like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna try one more time, okay? Stay. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Good job. Give me a pop, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> give me the other one, dude. Yo, give me the other one, dude. Yeah, that's what's up. Don't be letting me hang. On today's episode, we're going to be hanging out with a famous TikToker who knows an insane amount about Canine Health. In fact, that is the name of her TikTok account. LJ from Canine Health today is going to be hanging out with us and telling us everything we need to know when it comes to buying pet food, the best dog food for huskies, and how you can shop for your dogs on a budget. This is a comprehensive guide of everything that you need, what you need to know, to go to a corporate pet store and pick out the best ingredients for your Huskaroni pizza. So if you've been waiting for this video the day is here and we've brought professional help so without further ado bro i'm gonna put her up on the screen we're gonna listen to everything she's got to say because it's super important and it lets you know everything you need to know when it comes to feeding your siberian huskies the best foods yeah that's what's up Hey, hey, 60 Formula family. My name is LJ from K9 Health, and you may have seen me on TikTok. We're gonna go shopping for dog food today at a corporate pet store, but I wanna teach you guys what to look out for and how to shop on a budget. So we're gonna go find some of my favorite things um, that I give my dog. She's a 50 pound Catahoula mix and um, I like to shop within a hundred dollar budget normally per month. One of the biggest red flag ingredients on this list is BHA and BHT. BHA and BHT is banned in seven different countries. So the United States, the argument is, is that in such small amounts, it's not gonna make a difference in human food, in personal care items, in pet food. But the way I look at it is if my dog is eating the same diet on a regular basis, they're getting an exposure to it over and over and over again. So I don't feel good about adding that into my dog's diet. Here's a list of the main things that I don't wanna see in my dog's food, no matter what the brand. Pause to take a look. I'm really excited to go shopping with you guys. So I'm gonna show you some dog chews, some wet food, maybe even some dehydrated food and dry food that are good options for your pet. And then we can kind of talk about a little bit more at the end about things to look out for and how to read an ingredient label so that you can form a decision on what you feel is the best option for your pet. Fully sticks are a go-to for me because they're high in protein and they help remove plaque. The next thing I always get are a couple whimsies. These are vegetable-based chews and they're low in calories. The next thing I always get is a beef trachea. These are low in fat and a great way to get glucosamine and chondroitin. And an extra large is about $4.99. Collagen chews are a great rawhide alternative. They're budget friendly and easily digestible by your dog. It comes in a variety of flavors from chicken to bully flavored. If you're on a strict budget, Kongs are always a great option because you can put your dog's food right in it. Bone broth is a staple in my house and it comes in a variety of different brands. It's really affordable and a great way to hydrate your dog's kibble. 
When looking at wet food, you want to find things that are high in animal source protein. This one by Liberty is 94% protein, but it's free of carrageenan and extra fillers, so I got one of those. Freeze-dried raw mixers are a great option to either add to your dog's kibble or you can use these as training treats. It's just animal source protein along with fruits, vegetables, and organ meat. Organ meats have so many benefits for your dog's overall health and every dog needs it. When looking at dog food, I love that this one has no meat meals in it. This means that they use ingredients that are quality sourced and they know exactly where those ingredients came from and what animals they're using in their food. Now this brand does have enough animal source protein, but they utilize peas. So sometimes you have to be wary of that considering what your dog's medical predispositions are, especially with the current um, climate in regards to dilated cardiomyopathy. I would avoid refrigerator type foods like Vital and Fresh Pet. It's full of carrageenan, which is a stomach irritant. Instead, what I would do is go for something like this Easy Raw. It's as fresh as you can get without actually making your dog's food yourself. I like to get a couple of these cups a month because they're a great option for Kongs that are easy and fast. When looking for toppers, you want to find something like Nulo, where there's only a few ingredients in it and it's very, very clean. Nulo also makes their own dry food. They have bone broth and they also have a very good wet food selection. You can determine whether your dog needs a grain free or a grain inclusive based off of their particular needs. Grain inclusive foods are not only affordable, but they are preferred by most vets these days. I like to pick something that has ancient grains in it opposed to corn, wheat, and soy. Ingredient panels go by weight, so everything is listed in the order of the highest weight to the lowest weight. And once you find salt in the ingredient panel, everything after that only has 3% or less in the whole bag. A lot of brands have different marketing claims on their food, like Nutro has GMO free, but as you read the ingredient label, that is a little bit higher in carbohydrates. When it comes to a budget food, I'd rather see people feed this versus some of the other options on the market. So always stick within your budget, but do the best that you can. I like these raw boost options. There's a couple different brands that do it, but you won't need the topper because it's already included in the bag of food. You simply can just add warm water or bone broth to hydrate your kibble and move along from there. I really like Instinct overall because I feel like it's a quality brand and it's great for dogs with sensitive stomachs and allergies. They also make their own pouches. These toppers are a little bit of a different texture than the new low and they have a few more ingredients, but I still think that they are a solid choice. You can utilize toppers not only on your dog's food, but through enrichment items like lick mats and Kongs. Backcountry is another brand that started putting freeze-dried raw pieces right in the bag, so it's going to save you money. Whole Earth Farm is a very budget-friendly wet food free of carrageenan. Most of these cans are under $3 a piece, so it's a good value. Here's a list of basics. I like to have a variety of chews and food options for my dog throughout the month. Now that we've gone shopping, do you still have questions? I know a lot of people do. You can get a lot more information about food brands and learn the details and the ins and outs about how to choose a food for your pet by going to my Facebook group, The Canine Health Pack. For more video content, you can follow my TikTok channels, Canine Health and Canine Recipes, as well as our Instagram. We will be starting a brand new YouTube channel here soon for some more in-depth health, wellness, and enrichment. At the end of the day, you cannot control genetics and you can't control luck when it comes to your pet, but you can control what you feed your dog and how you take care of them. I'm so excited to have met the 64 formula community today and i hope that our paths cross again soon see you later guys were you guys sleeping were you sleeping while she was giving out all that information <laughs> what is this look at that booty waving like a flag stretch it out bro stretch it out
down. We want to thank LJ for making that really awesome episode for us today to help you guys figure out exactly what you need to know to make the best choices when it comes to feeding your Siberian Husky. LJ has asked us to link a whole bunch of information down below in the description, so we encourage you guys to go and check out all that information because it's a lot of stuff that you may be interested in. So click the description and check that stuff out. And also be sure to go over and check out her TikTok account. Subscribe to her TikTok so that you get the best information about your pets. That's what the 60 Formula community is all about. Sharing and giving away free information so that you give a better life to your Huskaroni pizza. So until next time, we'll see you with another episode. And guess what, dude? <laughs> Scooby da ba 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 do ba do ba do ba do ba do ba do do.